Sorry, guys. Just got to get a couple reps in between shows, you know. So here we are. I'm going to go ahead and dive in. Today, I'm going to teach you guys how to get Google reviews or any kind of reviews, actually, on autopilot. Now, part of this thing, in order to make it automated, you got to have an online ordering form. So let me tell you a little story. We're going to learn how a customer's journey how it is for a customer when they come to a process server's website or a notary's website or anybody's website, right? So, for example, this is a, this is a, one of our companies, virtuallegalpros.com. And if you go to this website, it allows you to be able to come over here and order online. Now, you could pick any website for an example, but I just want to show you this as an example. If I'm a customer and I hit this website and I'm able to come over here, click here, like order online from them, right? Let me scroll in a little. So if I'm able to click over here and actually order their services online, at some point I'm going to have to put in my email address. Now when I put my email address in to then be able to communicate with them and reach out to them to see how you did, how was your service, were they happy? So, um, so one of the ways that you do that is there's many different platforms out there. My favorite one is Active Campaign. In Active Campaign, it's a small fee. Uh, but for what it does, it's just amazing. So don't let all of this uh, funnel-looking stuff here confuse you or, or discourage you. Just get the concept, and then I'll show you how to do it. So essentially, this is a campaign. You can create a campaign or an automation. In this case, whenever somebody orders using the form, right, they put their email address in, they order. And see, when they're doing this, they're just ordering your services on your website the way that it says, right? Like if... You know, they're just going through and ordering whatever service you have, you know, putting their credit card information in and uh, let's scroll down here. Yeah, putting their credit card information in, paying the fee, you know, agreeing to the terms and signing it. When they hit submit, it goes to your email like as a new order, right? Well, what we're going to do in the background is we're going to have it automatically send them an email like this one. This is one that I custom built inside of Active Campaign. Now, let me tell you, there are softwares out there that I know personally that people pay um, hundreds of dollars. I know one that's $150. I know one that's $500. I know one that you pay a one-time fee of $1,500, and they'll do it for so many months, like three months, where they'll essentially automate this review process. Uh, I did it right here in just a few steps. You know, I created some, you know, some clever little copy here. And put a couple images that I found on online. And here's the power about this, right? So this is twofold. So of course, if you understand Google reviews, you understand how powerful it is to be able to to get these to 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 send this email to your clients. But there's a couple of things you got to consider. One, some of the email services will only do autoresponders that day or the next day. They'll delay it one or two days. In this case, Active Campaign will let me set the days for however long I want. Meaning, if they order today and it takes me three or four days to get the job done, I can estimate that everyone gets sent this in five days. That everyone that I want to get this email will get in five days. If I want to estimate just to be safe, like all the jobs that I'm going to do, you know, every time they order, it gives me about four or five, uh, 14 days, then I know they will have, you know, gotten all those we will have gotten all the work done for them within that time frame, if that makes sense. So, so then they receive this email. Now, this is the powerful thing about having an email thing set up like this, this kind of autoresponder set up like this. First of all, nobody wants to leave. Uh, nobody wants, nobody wants to fill out a survey. Nobody's going to sit there and be like, so fill out this big, long survey. So what you want to do is you want to set up something where the copy makes a lot of sense and it basically just says, hey, we want to make sure you're satisfied, which is true, by the way, but this is a double-edged sword. The smiley face, so we're not going to have them go to a survey that's somehow going to end up online for everyone to see. The smiley face is automatically going to take them to leave a Google review. I just brought up a Google page for our business, but you can actually have it brought right into your Google page so that they can come down here and uh, click and, and leave a review for your company. That's powerful. So now they're, instead of just filling out a survey no one will ever see, but you, they can actually give you uh, some review. But this second part of it is actually way more valuable than Google reviews. And that's saying a lot. Let's say I get a customer that clicks this red face. 
a lot of customers will just just stop using you and never call you and never tell you they were upset. They might ask for a refund, but pretty much they're just going to move on. And uh, that's a tragedy because if you're in a business where you want to keep those customers, like for example, if you get an attorney, like in the legal services space, or if you're a notary public and you're, you have a title company that uses you, if there's something that went wrong, which there could be a thousand things that could go wrong, in any business that you're in and it may not necessarily be your fault and you may not ever know about it. So the idea that they can click on this red button here, uh, because it's emotion based, it's not like one through five or any of this kind of stuff. It's emotion based. So they immediately are like, eh, he did a bad job. You know, I'm pissed, you know, I'm upset or whatever. You can create a form. I like to use form stack. It's a paid form builder. But Google Forms actually has a really advanced builder, and it's free. So you could definitely consider that. You can use the business version, which I think is paid, and then you can go to um, personal forms. And this is enough because all you want to do is get a form that basically says, you know, what it was exactly that was wrong. And you want it to be somewhat imper impartial, impersonal, so that they don't feel like – like they may not want to send you an email. So you want to make this seem like just a form that maybe they'll get a response, maybe they won't. But you need to make sure that form gets emailed directly to you so that you can then reach out to that customer. You know, I had one customer who would always, you know, we, you know, an attorney in uh, California, he, this guy, he used to call our office and cuss and get so upset about stuff for stuff that wasn't even our fault, like, you know, certain court things that didn't go on time or whatever. And so I would always tell him like, Raul, you know, and I would calm him down and he'd be good. But not all customers are like Raul. A lot of customers don't want conflict, so they just won't call you. They won't contact you. So having something like this set up is really, really powerful. And to be able to keep a client that sends you that much work uh, happy and like in figuring it out and dialing it in. I mean, essentially, most people, the way they run their businesses, you just don't ever figure out what it is you're doing wrong because you never knew. And, uh, and then the few people who do leave you reviews, here's the sad thing. The few people that who do leave you bad reviews and give you that much needed feedback, it's usually not feedback that's constructive. It's usually feedback like they just, you know, uh, like for example, I've gotten a bunch of review, bad reviews for people I've served because my marketing is so like strong that like even people who I'm serving are like, I've seen that guy, you know, and they'll go on or they'll just Google me process server and see my face on there and they're like, that's him. And then they'll leave me a bad review. And so, um, yeah, so you got to make sure you have something like this set up for your business. Okay. So that that's Google reviews and that's how you're going to automate your Google reviews. And I can show you examples of some other servers I know that have, you know, hundreds of reviews and it essentially kills any kind of ads that any other bigger company might want to come in and start doing for your in you know in your area because they just can't compete with that many reviews. So so good stuff. I think we covered it pretty well. And just uh, just to kind of recap like in order to do this automated you got to have some kind of an online form that people can do. And I do build these forms and I do build these websites uh, I'm get. I have a fall special right now. It's a uh, you know you get 84% off, which makes it only $525 to set it up. So, if you guys have any questions, definitely comment them below. I definitely respond to every comment myself. And if you have a website you want me to review and you want to enter to win the $3,000 website giveaway, comment your website below. All right, you guys. And then of course. Help the algorithm hit the like button. For some reason, likes are more powerful than almost anything, except for a share. It loves a share. If you want to share, it's going to like, it's going to say, wow, this mighty Mike is producing some great, valuable stuff. So, you know, it's up to you guys. But all right, man, we're going to, I'm going to head out. And so you guys be careful out there, be safe and stay mighty.